Greetings. Today is Tuesday, July 2, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. On Hurricane Info we continue with special coverage related to Hurricane Barrel, which is now heading towards Jamaica and the Yucatan Peninsula. Earlier today, I recorded a video to discuss the updated forecast. However, in this short video, I want to talk about Invest 96, which is a strong tropical wave, located just east of the Antilles, and is being monitored by the National Hurricane Center, because it has a low probability of briefly becoming a tropical depression before reaching the Lesser Antilles. As you can see, it is already quite close, and is currently generating thunderstorm areas that remain disorganized. This disturbance has had organizational problems due to the presence of Saharan dust and dry air surrounding its circulation. This is why the National Hurricane Center has continued to lower the development probabilities over the past few days. In fact, today at 8 p.m., they give it only a 20% chance of development over the next five days as it moves west or west-northwest. But regardless of its development, it is expected to bring some showers and windy conditions to the Lesser Antilles. Most members of the GFS model ensemble do not develop a tropical cyclone, although some keep it quite strong as it moves near Barbados, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent between Wednesday and Thursday of this week. It will then enter the waters of the Caribbean Sea, where the hurricane graveyard should close any development opportunity as it moves south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Also, note that members of the European model agree with this idea, perhaps a strong low pressure approaching the southern Lesser Antilles very close to where Hurricane Barrel passed, and then maintaining a trajectory through the Caribbean Sea weakening in this region. So, really the only opportunity for development this disturbance has is during the next 36 hours just east of the Lesser Antilles. But for the moment, as we see in infrared satellite images, it remains quite disorganized. Even so, Note that the European model ensemble has up to a 70% chance of forming at least a tropical depression. And although I doubt something will form before reaching the Lesser Antilles, the National Hurricane Center, just in case, maintains a 20% chance of development. Regardless of its development, this strong tropical wave will be moving over the Lesser Antilles between Wednesday and Thursday, bringing windy conditions with some wind gusts between 30 to 35 miles per hour. Additionally, these windy conditions could move over Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands between Wednesday and Thursday. In addition to windy conditions, it is also expected to bring some rain to the Lesser Antilles. Currently, only 20 to 50 millimeters of rain is projected, and for sectors of the Virgin Islands and eastern Puerto Rico, between 1 to 2 inches of rain. Beyond this, Invest 96 should not be a major problem. And after this disturbance weakens in the Caribbean Sea, and Hurricane Barrel completes its trajectory through the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic seems to be quite calm during mid to late July. This is mainly due to an unfavorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation moving through the region at least until mid-July. Looking further ahead, note that the members of the European model currently do not see any development at least until the end of July. And although this can definitely change, it seems that the coming weeks will be quite calm before the peak of the season, which begins on August 15th. Well, that's all for this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay informed during the rest of the hurricane season. Go to the bottom of the video to the red button that says subscribe, click it, and then click the bell to receive notifications when I record new videos. With this, I say goodbye until tomorrow morning to update the forecast of the dangerous hurricane barrel.